we detect some fast moving thing in the solar system with hyperbolic speeds mm -hmm. headed towards Earth and then it rapidly begins to slow down. Oumuamua is the first visitor from interstellar space that we have ever confirmed moved through our solar system. In 2017, astronomers spotted something unprecedented racing through our solar system. An object so bizarre, it defied every classification we had. Its official name, Oumuamua, scout or messenger from afar in Hawaiian. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope and Quantum AI may have just revealed something hidden in the data of the strangest object ever to enter our solar system. An object that, unlike anything else, accelerated without a tail, tumbled without reason, and slipped back into the stars. And now, new analysis suggests we may finally be able to decode what Oumuamua really was. While regular comets spew visible gas as they speed up, Oumuamua accelerated without showing any outgassing at all. It tumbled in a way no natural object should, and its shape, either an extreme cigar or a flat pancake. Nothing like we've ever seen before. What if we told you that quantum-powered AI algorithms analyzing James Webb's advanced capabilities could finally reveal the truth? By processing terabytes of data, and finding patterns invisible to human eyes, we might decode whether Oumuamua's mysterious push came from invisible hydrogen outgassing, or something that would change our understanding of the cosmos forever. This isn't just speculation. Real scientists using cutting-edge quantum computing techniques are re-examining everything we know about this interstellar visitor, and what they're finding might shock you. But first, we need to understand just how bizarre this object truly was and why it matters that we've just spotted another interstellar visitor that's completely different. But before we decode Oumuamua's secrets, there's breaking news that makes this mystery even deeper. Just weeks ago, in July 2025, Hubble captured stunning images of our third confirmed interstellar visitor, Comet 3 I slash ATLAS. And here's the bombshell. ATLAS looks completely normal. The images show a classic teardrop-shaped coma around an icy nucleus, exactly what you'd expect from a typical comet. If Atlas is what interstellar visitors usually look like, then Oumuamua stands out as even more bizarre than we thought. This stark contrast raises a crucial question. Why was Oumuamua so fundamentally different? If both objects came from beyond our solar system, why does one follow all the rules while the other breaks them? This is where the James Webb Space Telescope enters the picture. With its unprecedented infrared capabilities, Webb can detect chemical signatures that no other telescope can see. Its near-infrared spectrograph can simultaneously measure water, carbon dioxide, and other gases that might be invisible to other instruments. But the real game-changer? Quantum A, eye processing this data. Traditional computers can only analyze information sequentially. Quantum computers leverage quantum bits to process millions of possibilities simultaneously, perfect for finding hidden patterns in astronomical data. Think of it like this. We've got 90 terabytes of radio scans, countless light curves, trajectory models, all sitting in servers. Human eyes and classical computers saw nothing. But Quantum AI is like upgrading from a magnifying glass to the Hubble itself. The question is, what does it see that we couldn't? What if Oumuamua wasn't just a strange comet? What if the answers were hidden in the data all along, waiting for technology advanced enough to find them? And that's where things get strange, because the models quantum AI is testing don't just match natural comets. Some align with far more exotic possibilities. The same patterns that might suggest hydrogen outgassing could also indicate something we've never encountered before. Let me show you exactly what made Oumuamua so profoundly different and why quantum computing might be our only chance to solve this cosmic puzzle. The Pipeline of Discovery, 3 to 5. We're not just waiting for answers, we're building a technological pipeline to catch the next Oumuamua in action. And this plan is already in motion. Step one, the Vera Rubin Observatory in Chile, with its revolutionary 8.4 meter mirror and 3.2 gigapixel camera, will scan the entire visible sky every few nights. 
This mammoth survey telescope comes online this year and could detect one or two interstellar objects annually. Its all-sky surveillance means the next weird visitor won't slip by unnoticed. Step 2. The moment Rubin spots something hyperbolic, moving too fast to be bound by our sun, James Webb stands ready to drop everything. NASA has target of opportunity protocols that can redirect Webb within days or even hours. And unlike in 2017, we'll be prepared. Step three, the European Space Agency's Comet Interceptor mission, launching in 2029, will park at the L2 Lagrange point, the same neighborhood as Webb. From there, it waits to ambush a pristine comet or, if we're lucky, an interstellar object. Its three spacecraft will fly through the target's coma, sampling gas, dust, and magnetic fields in three dimensions. Next time, we won't just watch from afar, we'll fly straight into its path. Here's where it gets exciting. Scientists can already predict. If the hydrogen jet model is right, Webb's spectrograph should show nothing more than the faintest invisible gas. But if radiation pressure is the driver, like a thin sail, then Webb's data will tell a completely different story. What do you think it will be? Drop your thoughts in the comments before we reveal the leading theories. And while you think about it, hit subscribe so you don't miss when the next interstellar visitor is decoded in real time. This three-pronged approach, detect with Rubin, analyze with Webb, intercept with ESA's mission, gives us unprecedented tools to crack the code of these cosmic messengers. But we don't have to wait for the next visitor to start making progress. Remember those 90 terabytes of data collected when the Green Bank Telescope listened to Oumuamua for radio signals? That data set is still available for analysis, and quantum computing could reveal patterns that traditional methods missed. While classical computers search frequencies one by one, quantum algorithms can test billions of signal patterns simultaneously. They can detect ultra-weak narrowband signals, frequency drifts from Doppler effects, or patterns too subtle for conventional processing. Because when AI ran the numbers on Oumuamua's path, it revealed something nobody expected. Quantum AI decode. Let's get specific about how quantum AI could decode Oumuamua's secrets. There are three key modules where quantum computing offers a massive advantage over traditional methods. First, trajectory selection. Oumuamua's path showed a mysterious acceleration that couldn't be explained by gravity alone. Quantum algorithms can simultaneously test millions of models, hydrogen outgassing from different points on the surface, radiation pressure on various shapes, or even controlled propulsion. While classical computers would test these one by one, quantum computing explores all possibilities at once, quickly identifying which model best matches the actual trajectory data. Second, light curve inversion. As Oumuamua tumbled through space, telescopes caught its brightness changing dramatically, varying by a factor of 10 as it rotated. These light patterns hold clues to its shape. Was it really a cigar, a pancake, or something with precise geometric features. Quantum AI can reverse engineer these light patterns into thousands of possible 3D shapes and find the best match, potentially revealing if the object had unnaturally regular features. Third, spectral denoying. The faintest chemical signatures often hide in the instrument noise. Quantum enhanced algorithms excel at extracting signals from chaos. Applied to spectroscopic data, they could reveal trace elements or compounds that traditional analysis missed, potentially answering if Oumuamua contained unusual materials. Here's how quantum computing makes this possible in simple terms. Regular computer bits are either zero or one, like a coin showing heads or tails, but quantum bits, or qubits, can exist in both states simultaneously, as if a coin were spinning with both sides visible at once. This allows quantum computers to check countless possibilities in parallel rather than one at a time. This isn't science fiction. Google's Sycamore quantum processor already solved problems in seconds that would take supercomputers thousands of years. Imagine pointing that power at the puzzle of Oumuamua. Suddenly the data isn't silent anymore. It starts talking. NASA already uses AI to analyze web telescope images. 
The Morpheus system classifies galaxies and stars on a pixel-by-pixel -pixel basis. Pairing such systems with quantum computing could reveal patterns in our data that no human would ever spot. When Breakthrough Listen pointed the Green Bank Telescope at Oumuamua in 2017, they collected enough data to fill 730 laptops. Though initial analysis found no artificial signals, quantum methods could detect patterns too weak or complex for conventional searches, like a whisper in a hurricane that suddenly becomes clear. And if the data talks, what exactly could it be saying? When scientists examine Oumuamua's data, they've split into two camps. Let's call them the red team and the blue team. Both use the same evidence, but reach different conclusions. The red team, representing the mainstream scientific consensus, points to a 2023 peer-reviewed study in Nature that offered what they call a surprisingly simple solution. They believe Oumuamua was a water-rich comet whose ices, after years in deep space, trapped molecular hydrogen. As it approached our sun, this hydrogen quietly escaped, providing just enough thrust to explain its acceleration. Lead researcher Jennifer Bergner, an astrochemist at UC Berkeley, put it plainly, the simplest explanation fits all of the data with no fine tuning. The hydrogen would be invisible to our telescopes, explaining why we saw acceleration without a visible tail. Meanwhile, the blue team, including Harvard astronomer Avi Loeb, suggests the trajectory data fits another model, solar radiation pressure acting on an extremely thin, light object, similar to a solar sail. They note Oumuamua's unusual shape, whether cigar or pancake, lack of coma, and strange tumbling might be consistent with an artificial object. When quantum algorithms analyze the trajectory, they're testing whether the acceleration follows the exact curve expected from hydrogen outgassing, peaking near the sun and diminishing afterward, or if it matches the one over R squared pattern of radiation pressure, where R is distance from the sun. Here's where I put the cards on the table. If Webb sees a silent comet with no volatiles but still drifting off course, that's a sail-shaped red flag. If it sees faint hydrogen, the case is closed. Oumuamua was just nature being weird. Either way, we get an answer. The beauty is that both sides agree on what would settle the debate. They've laid out testable predictions that our new detection pipeline can verify. If hydrogen outgassing is correct, the next small interstellar object should show subtle acceleration with no visible coma, and Webb's instruments should detect minimal volatile compounds. If the light sail theory has merit, we should see an object with an unusually high area to mass ratio and acceleration that tracks perfectly with solar radiation pressure. And here's the kicker. We won't have to wait decades. With Rubin Observatory coming online and scanning the entire sky every few nights, Astronomers estimate we could spot one or two interstellar objects every year. The next, Oumuamua, could arrive any day now. Both teams agree, only the next interstellar visitor will settle this. And now, we finally have the tools to know. Let's quickly cover the background that brought us to this moment. On October 19, 2017, the Pan-STARRS survey in Hawaii spotted something unusual an object moving too fast to be bound by our sun's gravity. Scientists named it Oumuamua, Hawaiian for messenger from afar arriving first. It was traveling at 26 kilometers per second relative to our sun on a hyperbolic trajectory that confirmed it came from outside our solar system. Its brightness fluctuated dramatically as it tumbled, suggesting either a cigar shape about 800 meters long or a pancake shape roughly 115 by 111 meters across, but only 19 meters thick. Its surface had a reddish hue similar to many objects from the outer solar system. What puzzled astronomers most, despite passing close to the sun, Oumuamua showed no visible coma or tail like comets typically do, yet it still accelerated as if something was gently pushing it. NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope looked for carbon-based molecules or dust, but detected nothing. The Green Bank Telescope, under the Breakthrough Listen project, collected 90 terabytes of data searching for artificial radio signals. The preliminary analysis found no obvious transmissions. By January 2018, Oumuamua had faded beyond even Hubble's reach, heading out of our solar system forever. Scientists proposed numerous explanations. 
a fragment of nitrogen ice from a Pluto-like planet, a dust bunny aggregate with extremely low density, or hydrogen outgassing that remained invisible to our instruments. In 2019, a second interstellar object, 2I slash Borisov, was discovered. Unlike Oumuamua, Borisov was clearly a comet with a visible tail, confirming that Oumuamua was unusually strange even among interstellar visitors. But all of this, past confusion, past debate, sets up why Quantum AI and JWST make the next encounter unmissable. Oumuamua slipped through our fingers before we fully understood what we were seeing. It arrived and departed in a cosmic blink, leaving us with more questions than answers. But its legacy is profound. It woke us up to the reality that interstellar objects pass through our neighborhood, and we need to be ready for them. The roadmap is clear. The Vera Rubin Observatory will spot the next visitor early. James Webb will immediately analyze its composition and structure with unprecedented detail. Quantum AI will process terabytes of data to extract patterns invisible to human analysis. And potentially, ESA's Comet Interceptor will fly right through its path, sampling its material directly. This isn't just about solving the mystery of one odd object. It's about fundamentally understanding what travels between the stars. Each interstellar visitor is a sample from another solar system, a cosmic message in a bottle that might reveal how planets form around other stars or even carry the building blocks of life. Whether Oumuamua was just a weird comet with invisible hydrogen thrusters or something more exotic, one thing is certain, we'll be ready next time. The quantum decoding of interstellar data has only just begun. Oumuamua was the first messenger from the stars. The next one won't escape our gaze. Subscribe so you're here when the real decoding begins.